Ahoy folks, Lord Splendid here, and today we will be discussing what we can expect to see in the Sea of Thieves beta when it hopefully releases later on this year. So let's get started! So, with the Sea of Thieves Alpha well underway for a couple of months now, myself and a lot of you folks have been looking forward to what we can hope to expect from the beta. Over on the Sea of Thieves forums, which I will link down below, Joe9T released some interesting information regarding the beta. Joe posted on the forums in return to a lot of questions brought up about the E3 interviews with Rare themselves last month. Joe made very clear that the most important thing to get right during the game's early development stages was the core mechanics and the co-op based gameplay. This is indeed proving to be successful from what we've seen in the gameplay and trailers so far. There was also a decision to make on which engine Sea of Thieves would eventually run on, and after careful consideration, Rare have opted to utilise the Unreal Engine, which of course is a really good engine to build upon. Joe stated that a small team has been assigned to still work on the Unity Engine, which was another choice. The reason behind this is because they want to try out new things which means taking risks, as they want to keep the Unreal Engine stable and clean. Also, they are holding back on making the game look as pretty as it could be in the alpha, so we can expect to see an improvement in that area within the beta, as the core mechanics of the game would be pretty much finished. Some people seem to think that the water looks way better graphically, but Joe insists that this is not true, but we can expect to see an improvement in the beta stages of the game. Having your own pirate pets is something that has been in high demand on the forums, and Joe and Rare are fully aware of this and are considering prototyping this which maybe, just maybe, we might see a glimpse of it in the beta. I for one would like my very own pet monkey and I shall name it Charles, although I'm still game with the idea of having my own pet Kraken. <laughs> Other than this, for the beta I would really like to see a whole load of new features added into the game. Features such as more NPCs, a lot of customization, and I mean a lot. I think this is very important for a game like Sea of Thieves. In my opinion, I think we need at least a basic character creation system with a variety of different items to equip yourself and your crew to make you feel more unique in the world. I think this would keep a lot of people interested in the game for a longer period of time, and it would also increase that feeling of immersion. I would also definitely like to see more of the smaller things added to the game. For example, in the Storms trailer, where water would gather on the decks over time during a storm, and then it would eventually leak through the decks and gather at the bottom, and you'd have to get rid of the excess water with a bucket. For me, it's those minor details that really help to create immersion and make this game stand out from similar games. So, when will the beta be released, roughly? And how can we gain access to it, as it will most likely be a closed beta at first? Well, Joe stated that the beta will arrive only when they are ready. I personally think a realistic date would be sometime in November slash December time. To gain access, Rare are looking for super keen people who play the alpha actively and report issues and post on the forums as well. So get active folks because there's only going to be a limited number of spaces available for the closed beta. So what do you guys think most importantly? What do you want to see added into the beta? Do you like the sound of having your own pirate pet? I really want to see some crack and action arrive in the beta, but that's just my opinion, so what's yours? Be sure to write down your thoughts in the comment section down below. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a tasty like as always, and don't forget to simply subscribe for more splendid Sea of Thieves news and entertainment. I'll see you folks in the next one.